this is honestly the least abusive thing that I've seen happen in the racing industry in the U.S. Um, in a while. It's probably the least abusive thing that's happened in the racing industry all year, which really says a lot. Hey, bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I hate. You guys asked for this video, and I've been getting asked to make a video on this for the last few weeks. Honestly, if you want my opinion, I don't care. I really don't care about this because you know why? This is going to happen every single year and the only reason why people care about this happening is because it happened this year to the Kentucky Derby racehorse winner. And to be honest, this video is nowhere near as bad as the regular shit that goes on in the racehorse industry in the United States on a daily basis. So for people to get super outraged about this, but they don't get outraged about all the stuff that they don't see that it admittedly happens mind-blowing but you guys before we get into today's video i just want to say a massive thank you to this video's sponsor which is equestrium equestrium is honestly my favorite sponsor of all time as you guys know i've been working with them for almost a year now and oh my god they are amazing i have posted so many photos wearing their sets i mean these are the most vibrant high quality well-made sets i've ever used on any of my horses they have sets for dressage and jumping hunter jumper they also have all different types of other collections you can even buy certain collections separately their limited edition drops are amazing i honestly cannot rave enough about equestrium they seriously are one of my favorite equine tack companies to have ever existed not only are their sets absolutely gorgeous but they also hold up so well i seriously cannot wait to try this out the newest set that they sent me is their tea set Oh my God. It's so beautiful and it's actually so shimmery and shiny and just gorgeous. The attention to detail and the quality of these pads, honestly, I've said this to the company before and I keep saying it. I honestly think that their products are priced um, pretty inexpensive for how nice of quality they are. The set also comes with some matching boots. They're gorgeous. And of course, we have the matching brow band that they usually send a matching brow band with each set, dependent upon the set you get. Anyway, guys, if you wanna pick up anything from Equestrium, you can click my link. It's gonna be the first link in the description down below. Really, I love them. They are the best sponsor I've had, and I promise you, you're not gonna regret buying from them. Every single person at my barn since I started riding in these has bought sets of their own and absolutely love them. They seriously are one of the best equine tack company so i cannot recommend them enough thank you so much to equestrian for sponsoring this video again check them out down below but let's continue so a couple weeks ago or i don't know whenever the fuck it happened i don't keep up with horse racing a lot of people were tagging me in a video of the latest Kentucky Derby winner. And after he won the Kentucky Derby, the guy who was escorting them off the track began to punch him in the face because he was attempting to bite that guy's horse. First off, and it's still trying to bite the pony here. You know, honestly, everyone in the equestrian world who I've seen posting videos defending this, and you know who you are because I've seen you, <sighs> Please. Why is horse racing happening to begin with, okay? Can we find some common ground here, people? Everyone knows that horse racing is abusive. Everyone knows that these horses are raced way too young. Their legs are incredibly fragile. These horses don't even get a chance to live or grow up. A lot of these horses die before they even make it to the racetracks. I mean, the amount of horses that die every single year before they even begin a racing career from this strenuous training and exercises they're put through is astronomically high. Horse racing is not a sport. It is not a sport. It's literally just a bunch of rich dudes getting together in a circle jerk and spending a lot of money on animals that they don't care about, gambling all of their life savings away because it's something that they think is fun. It's a fun hobby. Horse racing is not for the public, and I don't understand why people think it is. 
It's literally for rich dudes to gamble. The only people I've ever seen who defend horse racing defend it because they're involved in the industry. They're either an exercise rider, they're a person who owns a race horse, or they're someone who grew up in a family that's a racing family, et cetera, et cetera. I've never seen a single person who's not involved in the racing community actively defend the racing community as much as they do. And a lot of people want me to talk about the situation where Rich Strike gets punched in the face. Here's the thing. I don't care. Plenty of other race horses have way worse happen to them on a daily basis. These horses are not really horses. They're treated like commodities. They're treated like something that's disposable that can be thrown in the trash when it doesn't make them money. That's why so many race horses are dumped every single day of every single year in the racing industry. As soon as a race horse is not making money anymore, it's no longer valuable to the industry, which is why so many of them end up in slaughterhouses. And for any of you guys saying that's not true, it literally is true. It's 100% true. These horses are shipped across borders to be slaughtered and killed, and they're sent to auction houses sold for dirt cheap to meet and kill buyers. And that is if they even make it to that point. Because just this year alone, there's already been over 100 different fatalities at different racetracks across the United States. I'm not saying that horse racing is bad everywhere because I have seen that other countries are better able to manage the equine welfare aspect of their, their horse racing, which I think is really good. But at the same time, I just in general don't support the exploitation of animals for money, which is why I in general do not support horse racing no matter where it is in the world. However, I'm not here to say that every single horse racing industry across the world is as bad as what it is in the United States, but when I tell you that it's bad in the United States, it's bad, okay? The United States Jockey Club is fucking horrible and they're incredibly shady. The reason why I don't care about this horse being punched in the face is because this is honestly the least abusive thing that I've seen happen in the racing industry in the US um, in a while. It's probably the least abusive thing that's happened in the racing industry all year, which really says a lot. At the end of the day, I just have nothing further to say about this incident other than if it bothers you that much to see a horse punched in the face, then you shouldn't be supporting the racing industry because that's the least abusive thing they do. Whether it was justified or not, it shouldn't have happened to begin with because horse racing shouldn't be a thing. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. This is ridiculous. I mean, this, again, is not even a sport. It's just a group of people that are gambling the lives of animals for entertainment. And I don't even understand why people think that this is okay or ethical in any way to continue to have horse racing when repeatedly, year after year, we have incidents like this pop up. And that's honestly how I feel about this situation. If you care about this, then you shouldn't be supporting horse racing because this is the least of your problems. If you guys want, I'm gonna link um, horse racing wrongs down below. And although it is a bit of a biased website, their statistics don't lie. They do accurately report the number of deaths and casualties at each racing event each year. So if you wanna look at how many horses have died over the previous years and including this year, I encourage everyone to go check them out because Know what you're supporting if you're going to support it. But otherwise, a massive thank you again to Equestrium for sponsoring this video. I truly, truly love them. That link is going to be the top one in my description. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I really love you so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!